All right, ladies and gents, welcome. Uh, this is a free-for-all regicide game. However, it is on a map that looks like Arabia. It looks normal, but it's called April Fools. Uh, shout out to the person who made this. I forget their name right now. We saw it on the mod center. I'm just looking at this right now. You start with a king, you start with a queen. It is what we would normally do for community games. In, you know, free-for-all, eight players, kings, etc., etc. But what's going to happen here? It's like I'm waiting for things to explode. Oh, we've got like a tree inside of a bush over here? I think the elephants might explode or something. I don't know if the king and queen are a part of this, by the way. Anyways, I'll try and do a quick introduction. I just keep waiting for explosions. Uh, here in the yellow, you've got Zul. Zul playing as the Portuguese. In the gray, we've got Jackson, who's playing as the Teutons. Oh, this is, this is funky. This is funky. Is it stone or is it gold? You can't tell. Um, in the teal, we have Space Kinch. Space Kinch playing as the Persians. In the blue, we've got Snippy, the legend of community games. Always looking to snipe. Not bad. Uh, in the red, we've got WDW playing as the Celts. In the purple, we've got Orange Juice playing as the Mongols. And then last but not least, in the green, we have Mr. Eugene H. Krabs. And that's actually not, that's actually not last. This is last. Sorry. We've got Immortality. It was very boldly. Yo, don't go looking at another king's wife. What are you doing? That was that was against some king code, I'm pretty sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wolf just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, but where did that come from? Okay. Woo 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 woo. Villager dead. <laughs> Can I go back and figure out what what made this spawn? Did he finish his sheep or something? What was that? It like spawned really late. I don't I don't really know. Sorry, we gotta catch up now. But wolves are gonna hop out underneath TCs apparently. I'm looking around to the others. I don't see any just yet. I think it has something to do with the sheep. Now I did not want to spoil this. I did not want to tell everyone what was gonna happen. I just told them it was an April Fool's game. I didn't want to spoil myself either with this. So, uh, we just kind of hopped in here. Not sure exactly how crazy this is going to be, but we'll find out soon. Like, this goat's going to finish, and let's just keep an eye on it. Oh! oh! The castle, though! Whoa, and you get relics? Wait, what? That's not an April Fool's. That's like a April, um, you know, uh, gift that... Yeah, happy birthday. Um, okay, so two relics underneath the TC right now. Okay. Yellow says, what the freak? Probably really annoyed with what's happening right now. Here goes space. And space is going to kill that boar. Oh, it's an iron boar. <laughs> Surprise. It's an iron boar. I was wondering why I wouldn't die. Iron boars actually have 700 food on them, but they're very strong. That was well done from Teal. It could have been much worse. Oh, God. Another iron boar has been located. Immortality. Not so immortal over here. And the thing about iron boars is they don't really die that fast to arrow fire. So this castle's shooting it right now. Now, if you get the final hits with Vils, though, you can get the food. So I think Orange is going to try that right now. You need to get the final hits with villagers. Here we have it. And the boar doesn't seem to have any interest in attacking anymore. So, okay. It looks like Orange is going to get that food. Orange is clearly religious. Because Orange says Jesus. That's what that means, right? And Orange is super risky with this king, man. I mean, this is... The whole point is to kill kings. I would not be scouting underneath town centers with kings. Yellow's talking about the wolves. We've seen double iron boars. Here's another iron boar. <laughs> I'm going to have to pull up the KD here, honestly. Um, I don't know. Does it have the total deaths? Yeah, it's got the total deaths. Orange has lost four. This is under the military tab. But whoa, 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 it's back. Is that a regular one or what? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Welcome to Community Games. April Fools. Is this an iron elephant? I was wondering if they existed. No, there's no iron elephant. The elephants are safe. Blue's now got an iron boar underneath the TC. Love and life. I guess the, the lesson is avoid the boars. 
you avoid those boars, you're going to be good. Teal did a great job, though. Teal did a fantastic job. The others continuing to struggle. Man, if they wouldn't have started with castles, though, this would be so much more difficult. This is another iron boar. <laughs> iron boar. <laughs> Red at the pause. This hotkey issue. We good now. They're just struggling so much. But what's weird is, is I saw a boar pop out of a boar, so I'm trying to figure that out right now. Um, okay. Oh, jeez. Green is getting massacred as well. Okay, but Green doesn't have Loom. Mr. Eugene H. Krabs, maybe research Loom. Because without Loom, you're going to get completely wrecked. Also, what happens here when you finish the bush? There's, like, trees inside. Oh, God. There's, they're just... <laughs> Oh, no. I actually feel so bad. Now, in my defense, I said that if you join this, it's an April Fool's map. Like, it's not meant... It's going to be bad. I did say that. But naturally, people are still going to try and play anyways. It, it said in the description that it was basically made to annoy the players. It's probably some arena guy who's, like, sick of everyone picking Arabia. And he's like, ha-ha, let's ruin it. Yeah, let's look at the economy here. Uh surprisingly very close surprisingly very close overall the lowest is 19 with purple the highest is 26 with orange that's shocking to me and i want to pay attention to these boars just to see what happens like again this boar is about to finish is there going to be a new one i think if another one pops out you should stop taking boars right oh god <laughs> Okay, now will they continue to take him? No, no, no. Okay, I don't think Orange knows about this, guys. I do not think Orange knows about this. And Orange is like, what? I just ate you, you damn pig. I just had bacon. I don't want more bacon. Now, listen, don't kill it with Vils. Because when it when the decay finishes, a new one's going to spawn. Kill it with the castle so it doesn't... There we go. It's not edible. <gasps> no way! Oh, does this just happen forever? I thought maybe if you killed it with a castle or a town center, this wouldn't happen. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. I... <laughs> what do you do? You got to, like, wall it in somehow. <laughs> Actually, you run away at this point. You, you hope you're Koomans and you can make a second TC. So, what's interesting is, like, this Iron Boar... Is just not attacking blue for some reason. I don't know if Snippy put a spell on it. But if you look at the mini map, like there's this continuous this continuous blinking at people's bases because of the boar situation. And look, he's gonna kill it, and now he gets 700 food, but then there's gonna be a new one later. Let's look at the, the KD again. <laughs> this could be someone's military pop for all we know. 16 losses for purple, 11 losses for orange, and Snippy's only lost four. And he tried to... Okay, this is actually not a bad strat. If you can somehow house wall it in... Okay, well, now now it's not underneath... Now it's not between your houses. Oh, no! I mean, it's tough, but I guess that's your best play. <laughs> oh! We're so evil. We're so evil to laugh at this. Also, I'm trying to see what resources Snippy bringing in right now. It looks like one of these is on gold and three is on stone somehow. So what you, I guess what you do want to do is you want to kill it with Vils and then you don't, oh God, there's a wolf here now. You want to kill it with Vils and then you don't want to eat it. So at least for like a certain period of time, you're not going to have boars. That's not the play. That right there is not the play. But if you know where they're at, you can try and avoid them. The problem is right now, like, Red's trying to make more vills. And there's an iron boar on either side of this TC. So, okay, that's smart. Like, maybe go this way. I think everyone's probably wondering, okay, do iron boars attack monks? Because this is where a lot of the relics are. At least there's a positive April Fool's joke, you know? Whoa, wait a second. What the crap? Oh my god, guys. So when you finish a tree, you get berries. That's actually impressive, except for this lady. She is now trapped in the middle of a bush with no escape. Zul says, WTF have a donkey. What is this? A donkey? Wow. Okay, I don't know how the donkey got here. Maybe if you finish a zebra, you get a donkey? That would make sense. 
kind of, in this crazy world. Well, I'm happy to say that there's more things happening. It didn't just stop with the boars. Also, if you got elephants, you're just completely... You're the luckiest person alive. I don't know how that happened, but... Notice how Green's not eating it. Green's like, I've seen an iron boar. I definitely don't want to see an iron elephant. No, thank you. Uh, hey, Yellow and Teal, want to be trade buddies? We haven't been able to talk about Diplo. Players haven't been able to think about it. For obvious reasons. Follow the donkey? I I'm going to follow the donkey. I don't know where it went. Where's the donkey? Here's the donkey. Oh, it makes a noise, too. Listen. Kind of. It's very quiet. It's a very quiet donkey. I want to follow this zebra to see if a donkey appears when you eat a zebra. It's got 70 HP and 0.7 speed. I think the relics are the wolves, but I don't know. I think the wolves are coming from sheep. I think that's what we're seeing here. I don't know. But let's go back to the KD. We'll just keep this list up for a while because red is now down to 17 losses. Oh, no. All of the stone miners went down. And <laughs> oh jeez, red was doing so good too. Red lost like fifteen bills ever since we last looked over here. What's the percentage thing on the donkey? I have no clue, but I think it just died. So we'll see. We'll see what happens when the donkey fully decays. And then the zebra has just been finished, or is about to be finished. We'll see if a donkey appears. Stop taking the boars. Uh, maybe if you can micro, that's the best thing, is just eat it and just prepare yourself for the next one. Aha! My theory was correct. Zebra equals donkey. I mean, zebras are basically the referees in the donkey world, let's be honest. They're just out there to, uh, to make sure everyone's following the rules. Okay, well, this is not so fun, right? Your villagers get stuck in the bushes, but I guess you could make a mill here, right? So there's ways to get out of it. And everyone's kind of stuck in the same predicament, right? Everyone has the same freaking problem with this map. So, the most impressive player has been Gray so far. Gray has not lost as many vills. Gray's over here playing as the Teutons. I don't know if free murder holes helps, but... Okay, as I said, that is now taking losses. Um, is gonna eat this? Maybe? Okay, loses another vill and now is gonna eat it. But it is going to snag the relics. And I feel like having this many relics in the long run is amazing. Okay. Now, couldn't you just wall in this carcass, guys? Isn't the way to do this. Wait till it's low. And then wall around the carcass. Because if you wall around the carcass before it fully decays, then the boar is stuck there. I'm very surprised I haven't seen someone do that yet. So you kill it. And then you wall it off, and then when it spawns, it will be in walls, right? Hmm. And that, that would be the way to do it. Teal is going to boom like a madman. Multiple TCs from Teal. I was impressed with Teal at the start. So, I know Space well. Don't tell Space I said that. Um, WDW says, hello, neighbor. Can we be friends? I may die to boars anyway. Very good Diplo work. I feel like that definitely is going to build you up your teammates as reliable and relatable. Okay. We're just going to see Teal go after this in a second. We have an elephant archer over here. I'm wondering if there's any other shenanigans that are going to happen here. Also, wait, what's up? Okay, the percentage is climbing on the donkey. What is this? Percent? Is it like, does it explode at 100% or something? You see this clock? This is selected units efficiency. That's what Capture Age tells me, but I don't know. Maybe Capture Age doesn't know how to deal with donkeys. But I'm I'm ready to see if this is going to explode at 100%. Nope. Now it's counting down? <laughs> I think Capture Age just doesn't know how to show stats on this. Honestly. But it's now counting down, so it's a very, very, very delayed bomb if it's a bomb. Eho. Yeah, there's a queen. Uh, queens do not really matter here. And a relic victory? What the? This is a bug. He's got two relics. How can you have relic victory? Oh, boy. Uh. Okay, well, I don't know if this is part of the map. 
But there is there was a relic victory countdown for purple, and now there's not for some reason. Hold on, I gotta go into the game. Where's the game? Where's the game? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, there's now nothing on screen here. I'm very confused by how that ju which has happened there. And someone just said, "Where's the monument?" There's no monument here. Hmm. Um. Well, uh, let's look at total vill counts, I suppose. What else am I supposed to look at right now? 53 for teal's the highest. The lowest is 29 for red. And it looked like when purple put one more relic in the monastery, the relic victory disappeared. So that's an April Fool's joke. Good news for purple is that the iron boar is mostly out here. And, and the, this one doesn't seem... This one's tired from killing everything earlier, so... Doesn't seem too interested in killing more. Oh, Teutonic Knight versus Iron Boar. Who wins? Teutonic Knights have amazing melee armor, but I'm not sure they can... Oh, and the Monk is healing it. The Monk is healing it. And the Iron Boar still might win. This is this is the showdown of the century right here. The thing is, we know what's going to happen though, right? Like... <laughs> but... Oh, surprise! <laughs> like, what did you expect to happen there? How many time? How many villagers have to be lost before we act appropriately? <laughs> I mean, you could, in theory, just always have. You could have this Teutonic Knight just endlessly attack the new Iron Boars. You could do that, but it feels like okay. Maybe you get enough monks, you can heal them. I, and now Blue's got a relic victory. What the? Blue's got a relic victory with. Well, that's a lot of relics with eight relics in there. I do not understand what is happening here. Except for the fact that Iron Boars uh, have wreaked chaos. Or wreaked havoc, excuse me. It's, it's been chaotic. Here's a donkey for orange now. The percentage is going all over the place. This says it's efficiency, so I think maybe it's based on the movement of the donkey that that percentage is there. But I would not get your hopes up. That this is actually going to lead to uh, lead to any explosions. I can't believe that they have not tried to wall them in yet. Like like gray right here, perfect opportunity to just go palisade around it. Like don't eat it anymore. I mean, if you want, you can eat a couple hundred more food, but then just wall around it. Hmm. I'm gonna go into the game again. Okay, and it does say there's a relic victory for blue, so this is not a capture age thing. Snippy could win this. I guess. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, Snippy's making petards. This is not April Fools. It would be April Fools if Snippy made petards and then didn't explode anything with the petards, but it's Snippy, and regardless of everything else that's going on, he is here to snipe today. He is here to snipe, and he wants to snipe space. Space's top score. Space is worried about the freaking boars. Space is like, hmm, maybe I'll get some relics. That could be really cool. Maybe I'll expand my eco. That'd be awesome. And T90 probably thinks I'm amazing at this game. I am amazing at this game. Look at my economy. 82 villagers with iron boars running through it. Like, oh my goodness. I need to be signed to a pro team. Why don't I play pro Age of Empires? I could probably do that. I mean, I'm better than all these fools. Even with the Iron Boars, I'm stomping them. This is an easy win. I can't wait to tell Mom that I'm on YouTube. Meanwhile, you've got Blue just moving along. Sneaky, sneaky. And maybe Space spotted this. And Space is Blue, where are you going? So it has been spotted. But has the Iron Boar been spotted? Um... It doesn't look like it. So these stables will actually kind of be denied by the Iron Boar. And Snippy says, just passing. Which might be true, by the way. He might go over to Gray, who continues to fight the Iron Boar. Which is ridiculous. Now, keep in mind, people should be sniping Snippy right now. People should be sniping Snippy because he could win if there's a relic countdown. And I don't know... Maybe it won't work or something. But if that countdown's there, normally that means bad things are going to happen to everyone else. So Snippy pulls the just passing. Not sure if Teal believes that or not. And is that villager eating a wolf? What? Wolf is on the menu. Not sure how good that will taste. 
I mean, Snippy could always make a little loop into Teal's base, but I think Teal's going to pay attention to that. And the problem is, Space, I think, is saying this to everyone. So Snippy just keeps saying just passing. But I think Space is basically saying, like, hey, Snippy's doing stuff. And Snippy says, we friends. Now, I don't believe that for a second. I think this is Snippy realizing that he's been called out and seen. And so for that reason, he's going to go take Gray, right? Gray, are you still allied with Blue, says Teal? Oh my god, Snippy's doubling back. Snippy is doubling back. He started to head over towards Gray. And now he's coming in towards Teal. I think Teal sees this. It's not the sneakiest snipe ever from Snippy, but he has a reputation now. As Snippy turns on Teal, Teal turns on Snippy. And that is a lot of petards, but is it enough petards to eject the king out of the castle here? Ugh. Oh, it's so close, honestly. If he would have had another petard or two, he might have been able to do it. Snippy fails. There's a random donkey. You, there's iron boars denying stables. There is a villager standing inside of a relic. She cannot move. She is frozen. All right, she's being preserved for the future. She is... This is, this is wild. Uh, April Fool's Snippy gets to imp now. I think many people might say you know, maybe uh, maybe wait till imp to try that. But, you know, many people wouldn't be Snippy. The trees continue to uh, turn into bushes. Has anyone noticed a trend with what happens when the bushes are taken? I haven't noticed anything. I'm going to keep looking. Um, it feels like it just, it, everything disappears then. It doesn't feel like there's any surprises. And we're just gonna remove the market sell events. Gray is talking about Snippy. Gray continues to do this, which I'm not sure if we should admire or, or what at this point. But I will say, you're getting the food. Gray doesn't have any interest in farming, so this is actually a pretty good food system. Okay. Can you check if there are any box turtles on the map? It says if you're taken, you get a sea tower. Uh, I doubt there's going to be box turtles. Because there's no pawns. I know we get pawns on the ladder in Arabia, but people with uh, people who map scripts in their spare time, they, they get that aspect right. There should be no pawns here. Yeah, no, no, uh, no pawns. Anyone else, like not know what the crap is going to happen in this game because like we got random donkeys over here from orange these, these are at zero percent by the way they have not exploded if you delete them maybe they do something but i think snippy's just going to defend the relic victory um that could be fine red says we will need to attack snippy let's look at the economy counts 95 eco for red while well, red really recovered excuse me red really recovered uh, eventually just decided to leave this area. I have to say, though, making the iron boars continually respawn was dirty. <laughs> was dirty. Oh, jeez. Let me guess. Magar Hussar against an iron boar? Looks like it. I can't see if there's a new one yet. Oh, yep. There it is. <laughs> and they're sick and tired of this game. So they're going to run away now. Purple making some manga die. Just shot another iron boar. I guess the castle... At this point, the castle starts to do decent damage when you're an imp. So if you get more imp upgrades, maybe the these things just continually die. And it's not that big of an issue. Uh, snippy. 190 years. His eco's not great, but he's got plenty of castles. And no one's really making a move for him right now. And I heard the knights attacking and thought it was a fight. But no, it's just an iron boar, of course. I like you. Thanks. So yeah, Teal and Grey are an ally. We don't talk about this quite as much. Um, this continues. I think a villager will die here. Yes, a villager will die here. Look at the deaths right now, guys. There's been very few military engagements. Just look at the deaths. I mean, if Snippy goes fortified, what? Oh my. Are you kidding? Bro! Okay, he just noticed it. 
There's a hole there. Uh, Teal running in here, though, won't do anything against castles in the first place. So I guess Snippy's completely fine. Can you imagine double layering everything and then having a hole like that? A little embarrassing. But the knights run in, and they're just going to scout what's out, and they're going to die. So this is completely fine for Snippy still. We have a uh, pink queen over here. Over here at Orange's base for some reason. Not sure what she's up to. And I think all the tricks are finished at this point. Whoa, 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 whoa. I really want to see someone wall in a board, but we've got four Fatorias for yellow. Yellow's looking at only 31 eco. I'm sure the boars had something to say about that. And you know what? Iron boars don't attack as Fatorias. So this is the safest economy in the game right now. I think Snippy's still going to try and snipe somebody because it's Snippy. But he should be able to just continually play like this. Get fortified wall and defend. Are these fortified walls? They are fortified walls. They look a little different. People come into this game thinking they're going to fight one against once another or one another and they fight against the environment. Exactly. Orange has donkeys. Someone just commented on that. Orange is like, do you like them? They're my pets. Still no clue what the donkeys do. It almost looks like it could be a trade unit, guys. You see how this has the selected unit efficiency as well? You know what it reminds me of? It, it, it looks like the uh, AoE 4 trade. Isn't AoE 4 have like donkey trade? I think AoE 4 might have donkey trade. Here's Snippy. They are trade units, and it, you guys have known this this entire time. Wonderful. Well, glad I could be late to the party. Um, Castle goes down here for red. Snippy, though, unhappy to find the queen. Snippy would have wanted to find the king. I don't think the queen is going to do anything. Yeah, losing the queen does nothing to you. Fortunately for red. Unfortunately for Snippy. Snippy will have to leave now. Hmm. Okay... Well, where's the donkeys, man? I wonder in AoE 2 if they bring you a lot of gold. Because, like, they're they're significantly slower, right? I wonder if they bring you more gold. Guys, we're at 130 years, and I'm not seeing any signs as the Iron Boar is now chasing Snippy. Yo, taking the Iron Boars to someone else's base is next level strat. That is actually hilarious. It, it needs to run this in. Oh, <laughs> he's doing it. Snippy is a special kind of terrorist. Oh, my God. Okay, well, sadly for him, his cav archers weren't strong enough to, to bring these in. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's funny, man. Uh, imagine if you would have got into the eco. Okay, well, I take back what I said before. We do actually have a push. And Snippy's going to try and defend this with trebs and cav archers. Um, Gray continues to use this method, which... I think we could argue maybe it's not the best, but it is is—it is creative. I'll give Gray that. Well, Snippy needs to survive. Snippy has a lot coming towards him. And good job from the other players to finally do this. Snippy's trebs go down, which was very poor from him. And now Red has broken through here, and Snippy has very little in the way of military. Very little in the way of upgrades either. Snippy likes to snipe, and if the snipe doesn't work, it doesn't really matter to him. He just likes to snipe every single time he plays the game. He's got to keep that monastery up here. Okay, so Elite Magyar Hussar, they are lacking armor upgrades, but they have the attack. It's a strong unit against nothing. Um, Wold Raiders here. They're not elite, but you've got to think Red might have elite on the way. Purple actually has Mangadai running through Red's eco, and that's like the worst case scenario for Celts. Mangadai are terrifying. Snippy, hoping to keep the monastery up, and the king alive. The king's got to be somewhere in here. Is making more castles, but still doesn't have much in the way of military. I'm going to imagine his eco is not looking good right now. Uh, stockpiles, and. Well, actually, they're looking pretty good. But he doesn't have many workers. I think that's a big problem for him. And the pressure is on. So upgrades have been forgotten. And I think there's no way to stop those rams if you don't have a bit more here. T 
Teal and Gray are friends, last I checked. So I think they're going to be okay. I think Yellow and Orange are a little untrusting of each other. Uh, that would be the best way to explain it. Gray says, Snippy, release your relics. And Snippy says, if you go away, I release. But And that's a fair deal. But at this point, like they could also just kill him. You know, like if his king is in here, you can just kill him. And that solves the problem as well. Now, everyone's got relics. So I'm curious if there's going to be another relic victory after this one's eliminated. Like that would make sense to me. If nine relics is what you need, or eight relics is what you need. I feel like other people can do that. Stimpy, at this point, you need to ungarrison your relics before. Like, you're not going to win, right? You're, that monastery is going down. So if you want to stay alive, you probably just need to ungarrison it now. He says, all against me, come help. I don't know really who he's speaking to. I think he's speaking to Yellow on the other side of the map. I think they had a conversation earlier. And Yellow's like, here I am, buddy. Here I am. The king was just killed by the Mangadai from Purple. And Purple's going to run away. And Snippy is out of the game. Yellow says he's on his way. Yellow, I would turn around and go home. <laughs> and that's exactly what Yellow's doing. He's like, well, <laughs> he says coming, not coming. A good job from everyone there, because if they would have won with the Relic Victory, it would have been awkward. But now Teal has the target on his back. See, this was my theory. The map started with eight Relics. If you have more than eight, you broke the Victory Condition. Okay, well, Teal did. And Teal says, yeah, don't want that. And where's that Monastery at? Okay, it jucked one of the Relics. Yeah, so it's eight Relics, I guess, is the number you need. Gray says, Yellow, if you're chatting, I can't see you chatting with me. And Yellow says, oh, now? Deep down, Yellow's like, well, I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was teaming with Snippy, but I'll be friends now. Yo, Eric, what's up? Welcome to Kami Games. Welcome to April Fools. You've got gold on top of stone, stone on top of gold. You finish a tree, you get a bush. We've got donkeys, we've got iron boars, we've got just a lot of stuff, to put it that way. What's up? Good to be trade buddies. All right. Guys, who... How's this game going to develop? Like, there's still boars out there, but it's not something we think about anymore. Which I think is good for the, for the game. Purple and red just work together. Mangadai, Kelt Siege, Kelt Infantry, that combo could be deadly. We do have trade... Heading towards Green's Market in the north. Green does not seem to have a very good economy, though. Only 45 eco. Yellow's eco is deceivingly good, because it's 63 eco, but then also four Fatorias. That's not too bad. Um, poor Snippy, his reputation got him dead. Yes and no, he did try and kill somebody when he told that person we're friends and just passing, and then also tried to go for Relic Victory. So as much as I could say Snippy's reputation killed him, I think you should also say, if we're being fair, that Snippy's actions killed him. <laughs> okay. Yellow, only to you. Trade corner to corner. Okay, so Yellow's like, ooh, I'm, I'm like the cool kid now. Everyone wants to talk to me. Let's go. Okay, Orange actually has the countdown. I missed that, guys. And Orange over here has elite elfin archers. Looking at the stockpile too. It does have tons of gold. Whoa, Orange could go for it, guys. Obviously risky when everyone else knows that you've got that countdown, but Orange could go for it. I would like to see the monastery walled in, though. Hmm. Anyone you don't trust is gray. Feels is not specifically, but I don't like being top score. I mean, that's a fair point. Top score is going to put a target on your back. <laughs> Can people just let a man and his relics alone? <laughs> right, Snippy? Snippy, thanks for hosting, by the way. You do still have some units that live on... Oh, what the... Wait, what? Does your kings respawn? Wait, Snippy, you're not defeated. Turn the computer back on. You're still alive. Wait, what? 
They're just standing next to each other, all peaceful like. It said that the king was killed, so I mean, it probably was, and maybe they respawn or something. Snippy's back, people. Conversation continues. Um, I got your back. I don't like that purple red army, and Grace says it's on the move. Yes, okay. Well, okay, this is this is wonderfully looking. Look at the little circular formation here. I'm pretty sure they used guard. This this almost looks like a um Okay, never mind, ruined. Okay, well he's gonna move forward. And yeah, I mean I think Red just said something to purple, like we're together till the end. So Mongols, Celts against Persians and Teutons. Holy H says people not fighting in community games is getting kinda of boring, not gonna lie. I would I would chill out a little bit because this game was extremely annoying to play for the first hour. I would I would normally say, yeah, okay, it's been an hour, we didn't have aggression, but one player already tried to snipe, Another per that person was killed for going for Relic Victory, and they have iron boars everywhere. So I, I would say, like, whatever minute in your mind you wish to see action, we should be expecting that to be coming later in this type of a game. The trade is established, they're finally able to talk because they're not worrying about the iron boars as much, so that will happen. And Red has now turned on Teal right before Teal gets the walls down. And this is as Teal says, where are you going? And I don't know if this is going to be good for Red in the long term, because obviously Teutons are probably going to get involved, but this is a good start to the raid. And so Holy H gets the aggression that they wanted. I feel like attacking before I get sniped. I'll put my forces here, says Gray. And Yellow says, me too. Are they talking together? I'm trying to, still trying to follow this. Uh, the Wood Raiders are fully upgraded, but so are the Paladins. Paladin should beat the Wood Raiders. Celts are good against Persians, don't get me wrong, but Paladin in this number should be okay. Yellow's still trying to figure things out. Doesn't know who they're allied with, and they'd have to go back to that screen where they allied people to figure that out. And now Gray is going to turn on Red. And this is where Red hopes that Purple's actually in on this. Because Red just kind of went in alone. And the Mangadai are back here. And Purple's just worried about his own base. He's like, hey, uh, you've got Siege Rams here. Purple didn't fight with them. I think maybe Red got a little bored there. Um, Red, you sure, says Green. And then you have Orange turning on Purple. Wait, did I get that right? Did I not see that? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Allied. Oh, allied. Okay, I was going to say I didn't see it here. That makes more sense. But it's interesting that they were uh, they were enemies all that time. I guess Orange didn't realize that. Actually, Orange might not have realized how to ally a lot of other people, too, if we're being honest. Yellow, good clarification here. Says, I'm low elo, by the way. Players really like to sling that word around in community games. It's like... People keep their mouths shut when they're, like, in comments these days. Some people admit it, right? They're like, they don't want anyone to know. When they give opinions, they don't want to say, hey, I'm low elo. But in a community game, you want to say that stuff. And you should. You really should. You should be like, listen, I'm not that good, okay? I mainly use T90s videos for naps. I don't actually retain that much information. I really need you to not kill me. Thank you. That's essentially what that means. That means, hey, have mercy on me. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not a threat. And I think even if you're high elo, you should be saying things like that. How are you doing, yellow? This is gray. And and there's a couple players, like orange and yellow right now, they kind of just want a cause. They, they want to be on a side. And so this conversation is huge. We've got green. Uh, that's gray currently dying to the iron boar. We've got Green, who's just turned on Teal. So Eugene is going to join Red. Meanwhile, Purple's just sitting back here. I feel like Purple's going to snake. Anyone else feel like Purple's going to snake and backstab? I mean, the way Purple's playing this, Purple has no interest in helping. It could be lack of confidence because of everything that's happening. Hmm. Also, I've got a very itchy nose, and I want everyone to know this because it is so hard to cast and focus when my nose is itchy. I don't know why this is happening. 
you itch it, you scratch the itch or itch the scratch, and then... Whoa. Whoa! Wait, what just... Was that... Was there an explosion here? Guys! Was there an explosion here? Hold on. Let's rewind. What just happened? I'm very confused. I'm gonna rewind. <laughs> Whoa! Okay! Guys, I had no idea there were explosions, so please pay attention, because I don't know what caused this. Now, orange has a countdown on the monastery. Red also put eight relics in here. What happens? What? Does anyone else not understand what triggered that? It wasn't the king, because the king is dead, right? Like, Snippy's dead. He can't... It wasn't killed. What? Did someone delete the king and it, the second king explodes, maybe? I, I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. The original TC spot triggered it. Go back further. Oh, yeah? Okay, hold on. Let's go back. Apologies for this, by the way. Oh, yeah, you're right. Wait, so is something deleted there? Like, what, what was there? I'm going way back. There's nothing there. So, I don't want to go too far back, obviously. Because then we, you know, we're going to have to rewind. Uh, or fast forward. This looks like a body. Any guesses? Someone said long fuse. Like, I don't think it was... It, it actually might be his original king? I'm still very confused. I don't know what happened there. But apparently, random explosions can happen. Someone said petard. I don't think so, right? Because we saw petards die before, and it didn't lead to explosions like that. But there's something funky here. And people are speculating it's the TC. And you know, the TC is actually not a bad guess. Because the, um... Because I think the TC would have been... No, no, no. The TC would have been here, right? And surrounded by the carpets. So do we have to pay attention to this? Uh, let's see if there's another explosion. Because the... Oh, guys! Guys, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay. So that looks like the same carcass. I'm really good at recognizing dead things. I think that we might see another explosion there. I'll keep an eye on the situation. Um, but it's weird. Like, the king and queen were there. Then the king and queen were not there. Crazy events. And it sucks for green, because green just lost... Almost lost the castles and then lost everything there. Uh, we got to go normal game speed now. I will still keep an eye on this. This might take forever. And we've got holy berry bushes over here for Teal. As Green has come in here with Magyar Hustlers to attack the market. Right now, it seems like if Gray actually, like, moves in with Teal anywhere, they're going to destroy. But I don't think Gray's necessarily interested in helping much. Kind of like how Purple doesn't have interest in helping Red. Just don't really have strong alliances these days. Um, here comes Yellow. And I don't know how to describe this. We've got four holy men, and we've got the queen following. Um, you know, Yellow is, is a very peaceful village over here, so maybe this is like a, some type of a peace talk. And, oh, wow, lots of monasteries. Wait, did he build the monasteries over the dead thing? Oh, God, he built it next to it. I feel like this is a really bad spot. <laughs> I don't know if the other king dying, like the new king dying, will lead to another explosion. She's trying to get in there. They're like, no, you're not allowed in. We're not open today. And the monks are just dropping off the relics. Now, can I go into the game real quick? Actually, I think that might actually give us spoilers. I don't know. Because we're behind live time. I don't know what the crap's happening with the relic countdown. But I do know that the camels... But the, the elephant archers just killed green. So green's now out of the picture. And I think that's the king body. So, again, will there be an explosion? Oh! 
Okay, okay, okay. So there's just like kind of continuous explosions, I guess, depending on that. Wow, okay, so that answers our question. So yellow now knows something's up, and yellow's like, what? And then there's going to be an explosion over here soon. And I don't think orange knows about this. Guys, we did not advertise exploding kings. I don't know if this is built into the mod or what. But <laughs> have you ever seen someone lose 54 elephants at once? Because you're about to. There's no countdown. Like, it's not obvious at all. This is so funny. And, and then yellow's signaling like Snippy's king is here. Hmm. Exploding buildings go down, I think. Exploding when buildings go down or donkey. So they're trying to figure this out too. So it's a very delayed explosion. We were right when we said there was a delayed explosion. We just thought it was going to be with the donkeys in this game. Interesting stables there for Teal. How did all my buildings go down? Donkeys don't explode, do they? Says Yellow. So we're about to see someone start deleting their donkeys in people's bases. <laughs> I would love it. Guys, it would make me so happy if there's insane paranoia involving donkeys now. Like, donkeys are in trade routes, right? So donkeys are going to go through people's bases. And people are going to be like, ah, get that donkey out of there. <laughs> we don't want that donkey. I don't know, man. Lol. Weird map. Yeah, it's a very weird map. I'm still waiting for the explosion. I wish there was like a countdown for the casters. Um, this is stuck, by the way. I've said it before, but this is stuck. Iron boar is currently chasing. Ooh, does the iron boar respawn after an explosion? We've got to be close at this point. Looks like the elephant's going to die. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's going to be a new one, so have fun with that. I don't know why we're placing mills. Oh, must be a hotkey issue. Okay. Yeah, so orange is the same thought. Great idea. Let's just take the relics here. Meanwhile, teal is dominating red. And red is going for kelp paladin, which, unless it's hidden cup four, is not a great idea. Um, I don't know where red's army is at the moment, beyond the paladin, which is a concern. And there it is. We just caught the tail end of it. Those elephants fly those elephants fall down about as fast as I jump in, like fall down in the bed at night, you know? Like as fast as I lay my head down, psh, out immediately. Like they there's nothing like it does not look like an elephant dying. It, it's way too fast. And here we have immortality with the oh trying to understand what happened here. Now what I don't understand, guys, and maybe you can explain this to me. What the Yellow! You're alive! Don't put your stuff here! What is this? <laughs> this is like... Okay, how did Snippy's King come back is my question. How did Snippy's King come back? Does it come back after an explosion or what? Why did Yellow, who is alive, bring the King and Queen over here and sit next to Snippy's dead King and Queen... That's that's a new one, and I really want yellow to win now. Yellow's my favorite for that. I have two kings, question mark. What? Where's the other one? Oh, wait, what? If you stand next to them, or you're over here, you, like, get new ones? What? <laughs> Orange says, does anyone know what's exploding? Red says, I need help. Purple has been, I'm sorry, Purple, but you you're, like, the worst ally ever. Red probably should have communicated a little bit more with you to see if you were going to attack first. But you've done nothing to help your trade partner. Like, nothing. Purple says we still ally, and Gray says, yeah, I'm chill with you. So, I mean, Purple is quite clearly happy with Red dying here. And I feel bad for Red, but also Red did decide to attack Teal on his own without confirming he'd get help. Okay, but now I need to understand how you get new kings and queens. Snippy's king spawned from another another king for yellow. Yes, exactly. But I, I got to understand, like, why that happened. Like, did you have... Do you have to lose monasteries with relics in it to get more stuff? I'm still so befuddled. I'm sure someone has figured it out more than me. But you guys get to think about it. I got to talk about my thoughts. And believe me, it doesn't always sound too good. 
You kill the queen and then you get a new one? Yellow lost a queen there. No, I don't know if yellow lost a queen. Yellow's dead queen respawned as a king. Okay, but how did yellow get another queen then? Do you get a king and a queen if you kill a queen? Hmm. Yellow's queen died there during the explosion. Got it. Red says no help. I would have been saying this a little bit faster. And purple says coming. And purple, I mean, it's too late at this point. I'm too far away. Yellow says I kill a boar, a bayor, and it comes back to life. Uh, yes, we have noticed that's happening. We're more interested in the queens and the kings coming back to life. Great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dreams do come true. Gray, what are you doing with this donkey? See, yellow thinks donkeys explode. And Gray's just trying to trade. Where's the donkey? This donkey right here. See, this is this looks suspicious. <laughs> this is what I said. This looks suspicious because no one understands <laughs> what causes things to explode. And Gray's like, donkey? What donkey? And yellow doesn't trust him. Yellow says, hmm, I trust nobody. Yes! Yes, I love it. This is so funny. Okay, purple, we cool. Red is going down. Red, red is receiving no help whatsoever. By the way, orange juice. This is, this is mean. We good, mate. And orange just chimes in and is like, "Hey, like, come on, I'm with you, man." Anyways, the king is in here. For those wondering, for red. What do the donkeys do? Says yellow. He's really confused. And, oh my god, Gray is, like, mind gaming now? He says, dang, you caught on to my donkey snipe attempt, 11. Yellow's, like, 30 minutes behind everyone else, and I love it. He's like, wait, how does Orange have a countdown? And Orange is like, oh, what? I don't want a countdown. <laughs> this is this is as April fools as this could get. Our Red's king on the move. I don't think anyone here knows the kings explode. Gray might not have made that, uh, wanted to make that joke, by the way, about the donkey attack, because that might actually increase Yellow's level of paranoia here. Let's look at the overall stockpiles real quick. It's got to be insane. Um, yeah, Yellow's got 30k gold. That's a lot. Purple turned on me. Could I get help, says Red. Red, I, I, I honestly feel so bad for you, because you did most of the work against Snippy, and then Green died, who helped you. And you've received no help whatsoever. That said, it does benefit Purple to not help you here. Orange says, I'm bleep. Language, bro. Jackstone says, uh, I think the relic thing is part of April Fool's. Yeah, um, probably. And Yellow says, what do I do with donkeys? Okay, if only it was easier for me to track the freaking donkeys. All I want in my life is donkeys. Uh, where are the donkeys? Is there a donkey hotkey? Anyone have that? I don't know. Grace has no idea. King for Reds is still in this castle. Your Reds got nothing. Purple also, I think, has killed like nothing in this game. Uh, looking at the KD somewhere. Um, yeah, it's killed eight units. Probably eight iron boars. I don't think that gets counted, but... Just a sign that with all that military has had no interest. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Okay, so I think you guys are right. I think you do get another king when you lose a queen. I don't understand how you get another queen, though, which seemed to be the case with yellow. Um, But here come the two kings. And red might not know. Meanwhile, these two are... Oh, no, they're not fighting. Okay. Okay, 3v1 says WDW kid. Did green or blue's king explode again? Um, I don't think so. Because it looks like there's still stuff over here. What happened to yellow's monasteries? Okay, if you stepped away, you're really going to have to rewind. <laughs> you're really going to have to rewind here, okay? We can't get you up to speed that much. A lot of weird stuff's happening. We've had explosions that we don't necessarily understand. Players think it's the donkeys when it's not. 
Um, and it's like very, uh, what's the word? Very sly explosions, very uh, hard, difficult to understand explosions. Immortality says my countdown's not going down. Yeah, your countdown's frozen. One too many donkeys. <laughs> Grace says April Fools. Um, okay, I'm just really happy. I just want to say this. I'm just really happy that, oh God. Okay, so do you die if you lose that one? Okay, well, both of them went down. And now red is dead. Okay, so what we should have is we should have two explosions, one after the other, in like 30 seconds or a minute, okay? This won't kill anyone. It could potentially kill Orange's military if Orange moves, uh, or sorry, Purple's military, Purple moves around. But what I wanted to say is I wanted to say that I'm really happy this turned into a really fun game, and I like what they did with the April Fool's stuff later on. Initially, I felt bad for the players because of the Iron Boars, but this actually turned into something that um, had a lot more depth than I expected. So fair play to the person who made the map. Sorry, red says yellow. Okay. Um, but again, I'm going to look in this general area because there should be explosions. Also, you know what's weird is like every dead king has like different pieces of them left behind. You know, like you would think that all the kings, since they kind of look the same, would have the same pieces of same article of clothing remaining. Maybe they're different different uh, types of kings. Maybe I missed out on that. I mean, Teal has got the base of all bases here. Th this is incredible fortification, has trade. I don't think Gray and Teal are going to turn on each other. So it's like, who's the weakest link and who are we going to go for? And I feel like Yellow and Orange, maybe even Purple are the weakest links right now. Hmm. If I were orange, I would eject all my relics and I would put them back in and see what happens. That's what I would do. Because I think if you... At worst, it puts the countdown on someone else and then they're the target. Kind of like hot potato. At best, your countdown just resets and actually works starting at 350. Teal says, Purp and orange have been chilled this whole time, but it has to be one of them. Yeah, and like purple didn't help red, and now purple's gonna get 3v1 or something, right? I think that's how this goes. Like, y you can think that you're just gonna be buddy buddy with the other team, but they're trading together. They're trading together, and they're working together. This is a long wait for this bomb. I didn't even know this was possible. Do we have to wait for this to like decay fully? Gray says, I would feel kind of bad. And Yellow says, ah, Red, my troops have arrived. And, okay, so Yellow a little late to the party, I guess. And uh, has, okay, so the Queen and two Monks going that way. Yellow has eight Relics now, so it should trigger a Relic countdown, but then there's... Oh my god! Wait, and you saw the Petards there. And purple's going to be super confused. And I just, I really hope this comes back to the donkeys. I hope someone has a donkey somewhere just walking through. I don't know if purple's noticed this yet. <laughs> Orange, Orange did. Orange is like, hmm, I'll take those relics. Thank you. That was double the explosions there. Okay, they're talking. Should we attack Orange? I think so. Let me talk to Yellow. Let's have him work with us against Gray and Teal. Okay, listen, Purple, if you're against Gray and Teal, why did you let Red die? I don't know if WDW is still in my chat, but he's probably like, uh, what was your plan there, pal? What was your plan? They're trying to figure out how to do this. Hey, Yellow, see the top right? Click the horn looking button. So Gray is telling him how to change chat alliances. Wait! Did they just allied victory? Did they... Did they have allied victory on and they just all allied for one point and then the game ended? Is that what Gray was saying? Was Gray trying to get them to go for allied victory? Or was it a relic win? I... <laughs> 
I don't understand. <laughs> Things are so unclear. I do not understand. Okay, so capture age will probably won't give us the information because this is too too difficult to capture. We'll go into the game. Um What happened? Okay, so we're gonna look and see what their chat was. Bear with me here. Scroll up. Okay. Um WTF uh uh WTF. I think the timer was bugged. What? Man, we won? GG, I guess. GG, yeah. Did the countdown stop working and the relics expired? And I just saw you try and backstab me. But we were teamed, so we all won, I guess? I think? GG, lol. Yeah, this is a sad ending. GG, boys. Ray, I was happy we were on top. Is it because I allied Teal at the end to try and kill Yellow? I think that that looks like allied victory. But wait a second. Did they all win with relics because one person won with relics? Like, Teal doesn't have the team score of the others, which means Teal was not... Let me look real quick. Teal was not allied with... Okay, well, himself. Um, I don't... I honestly don't know. But April Fool's, ladies and gents. April Fool's. That was a... That was a weird one. I think I need to investigate. Like, I think we need to ask uh, the person who created this map about the whole king-queen thing. I think we determined it. The only thing that's weird is if losing a queen gives you a new king, I don't understand how yellow got another queen. That's still not clicking for me. But it was a good game. Sorry to the players who thought they were going to be able to fight on. Um, weird things happen there, I suppose. Now... That was, but my favorite part about that whole game was Yellow's confusion about the donkeys. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Yellow thought donkeys exploded when they didn't. No one, I, I don't think anyone knew that the kings led to explosions. That was really funny. Um, yeah, total resources collected. Immortality did bring in the most gold. Probably with the relics, right? Nope. Yellow had 21 relics. Holy crap. Um... I guess, you know, to have seven relics at the least is still really good. In terms of food collected, we had space with 82,000 food. Jack Stone did not have the most stone, but he had the most wood. It was Zul who had the most stone with those Fatorias. And yeah, that was a game. Wait, hold on. When a king die or when a queen dies, you get a new king and queen. When a king dies, you get a queen. Is that, what, is that what you just said? Maybe? Okay. I don't understand fully what happened there. I hope people enjoyed it, though. I hope it was still fun and April Fool's.